Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and a Cards the Universe and Everything video. And today we are doing another super cool deck and I think this one is good for new players and pretty much everybody actually. But new players you're going to like this because it's a dead easy deck to build. Anyhow the deck is the original Odyssey and here we go. The deck's up there on the left and let's go through it. So... First card is Cyclops, uh, the one-eyed guy there. There he is, seven for 67. He's a legendary, but he's only a fusion. Dead easy to get this card. And what does it do? On the draw, your opponent's legendary and mythic cards, wherever they are, lose minus 12 until play. Pretty cool card. That's Cyclops, and he's the first card in our original Odyssey League deck. Moving on then, our next card is... Uh, Serki, I think that's how you say it, Serki, Serki, maybe, 5 for 45 anyhow, it's a rare, just a standard rare card, another easy to get card, and on the play your opponent's legendary cards in hand lose minus 20 this turn, so so far these two cards were really going to punish some of the uh, bigger decks uh, that are out there, so that's the first card, or the second card I should say, the third card in this cool deck is a dead easy card to get. Everybody's probably got hundreds of these. Bag of Wind. Never actually used this in a deck before, but it works really, really well. 5 for 44, just a common fusion card. On the return, if you're losing the round, you're the original Odyssey cards, wherever they are, cost minus one until played. So energy is not too bad this week. I wouldn't say it's high, but it's probably low to medium. Uh, this card's definitely going to help. But as you see... It is going to benefit for all the arts and culture and uh, original Odyssey buffs that are coming up shortly. Next card, another common card and just nothing special about this card to get. Dead easy is the Trial of the Axes. There we go. I'm sure you've got probably 50 of these. 8 for 75, an opponent's random card in hand. Lunas might loses, not Lunas. Loses minus 40 until played. The Sirens, just a rare card, this one. On the draw, three opponents, random cards in hand, lose minus five until played. And this card gains plus 15 power until played. So pretty cool. That's the Sirens and just a rare card. Okay, moving on then. What is the next card? Ah, oh, nice cool card next. This one is a little bit harder to get. It is a limited, sorry, an epic limited. Uh, and it's Calypso. And what does it do? On the draw, an opponent's random card in hand locks this turn. And on the return, another opponent's random card in hand locks next turn. So pretty useful. That's going to do a little bit of uh, annoyance to your opponent. Again, it's going to buff up really nicely. That's Calypso. Probably one of the hardest cards to get in this deck. Next card out, another common card. Loads of common cards in this deck. Absolutely dead easy to build and a super strong deck, this one. is Penelope. Two for 22, so really cheap to play. On the play, your Odysseus, Odysseus, that's how you say it, card in hand gains plus 40 this turn. And we do have Odysseus in our deck, you'll see that one later on. Uh, but there we go, another original Odyssey card. That's Penelope, beautiful lady there as well. Next card is just a normal rare card. Another dead easy card to get, Procy or Procy. I think I'm going to go with Procy. Uh, your Penelope card, which we just looked at, in hand gains plus 30 permanently so the key here is try and get these cards next to each other Procky and Penelope uh, so Penelope can get that permanent buff but 3 for 27 another cheap card to play but it's going to get all those cool super buffs uh, throughout the game Procky interesting picture as well okay the next one this is probably the strongest card in the deck in my opinion it's Imaeus Imaeus I think, <laughs> on the play for every the original Odyssey card in your deck, up to a maximum of 10, your, your the original Odyssey cards, wherever they are, gain plus 3 until played. Well, we have got uh, more than 10, so we're going to get at least 30 buff, or we're going to get 30 buff on all our original Odyssey cards until played. That's awesome. Uh, missed the card there. Hang on, I need to go back a little bit. Here we go. Watch how we go back. Can we go back? There we go. <laughs> the Triesius. Uh, on the draw, a random card in your hand costs minus two this turn. That go back feature is pretty good. I never knew about that. Cool. That's a rare limited, so not too difficult to get. And then the next card is 
another fairly difficult but not crazily difficult card to get this is an epic limited card argus nothing to do with the shop something to do with that little dog on the play your ds card wherever it is gains plus 10 permanently that's pretty cool and on the draw your ds or this odysseus card that's how you say it wherever it is costs minus one permanently so they're going to work quite well together moving on then that card we've been talking about is the odeus card that's the next one it is a rare limited card and what does it do well it's three for 34 where is it there it is three for 34 on the return this card gains plus 12 permanently and on the play your homer card in hand gains plus 20 this turn well we don't have homer uh, but on the return this card's going to get 12 permanently but it fits in nicely with this deck pretty cool card so moving on we've got another easy to get card it is a limited epic it's cyclopean isles looks like a really cool place as well on the play your original odessa your original odessa odessa cards odessa cards i can't even talk now your original odessa cards wherever they are gain plus 29 until played and on the return your natural monuments and this is a natural monument card wherever they are cost minus one for four turns not bad uh, but that's going to buff up some of those odessa cards odessa cards come on get it right dad of the goat okay moving on another super cool card that's really going to help it's a legendary but it's just a normal legendary card so again this card is super super easy to get it is the Hestina Persimilis. There we go. The Hestina Persimilis. Uh, on the draw, your original Odessa cards, Odessa cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played. On the play, your instrumental cards in hand gain plus 25 this turn. And on the return, your opponent loses minus 15 for three turns. Six for 59. So medium strength card, that one. But again, he's going to really buff up those original Odessa uh, cards really well why did i pick a deck that i can't pronounce that is silly of me anyhow let's move on we've got another limited epic and this one is telemachus telemachus somebody's going to tell me i've got that wrong i normally get the names wrong but anyhow the next card as i said is telemachus four for 40 on the draw your odysseus card wherever it is costs minus two until play and this card gains plus 20 this turn so he's going to buff up nicely as well with all those other buffs and then the next three cards these are the hardest cards to get um, but they can be swapped pretty much for any other card that buffs up the arts and culture uh, or any other cards in your hand or in your collection that you've got that you think will fit well uh, but I've included them because they work really, really well. So this is a mythic Nazca Lines. You don't necessarily need it, but it does work really well if you have got it. Uh, on the return, your common cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20. And we've got loads of common cards. I think we've got one, two, three, four, four common cards. Uh, your rare cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. How many of those have we got? Quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. And your epic cards, wherever they are, gain plus five until played. And we've got quite a few epics as well. One, two, three, four, five epics. Five epics. Yeah, so there we go. So that Nazca Lines, actually, with this deck, is going to pretty much buff up every card apart from, I think it's three or four cards. Yeah, four cards. So that's the Nazca Lines. But like I said, if you don't have the Mythic, you can swap it out uh, for any other uh, card you've got that you think will work. I've gone with the mummy. It's not too difficult to get the mummy, but he works really well. On the return, your arts and culture cards, wherever they are, gain plus 11 until played. And I think we've got 16 arts and cultures card. So I've included the mummy because 16 times 11 is a lot. 170 something. Pretty good. 6 for 45. That's the mummy from the Halloween collection. And then another fairly difficult card to get. Works really well. It's an ultra fusion, so try and make it if you can. It is the Renaissance. On the draw, your Arts and Cultures cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. And also on the draw, if your deck has six or fewer Arts and Cultures, well, we don't, like I said, we've got 14, I think. Uh, your Arts and Culture cards, wherever they are, gain an additional 18 until played. So that's the deck. Average there, 47.6. Average uh, energy, 5.2 and power divided by energy 9.2 that's the key one that is pretty high but we got some serious buffs in here let's have a quick look at the stats 
Uh, there we go. We've got three common, six rare, five epic. So that's really easy to build. Two legendaries. And like I said, no limited legends. So they're dead easy to get. So all of those cards are really uh, quite straightforward. And then the only difficult ones, the Ultra Fusion and one Mythic, like I said. And we've got 16 Arts and Cultures. We've got one Life on Land. That's that Hestina card. And we've got one Science, which is that Cyclopenian Isle. So there we go. That's the deck stats. So here we go. Let's take it into the league. And I'll tell you now, this deck is super powerful. You can, if you play your cards right with this one, get over a thousand points on a turn. Um, but more importantly, play this deck to win. Uh, rather than trying to get a big score at the end because you will find it pretty easy to beat pretty much all of the meta decks out there at the moment. I've been killing the bird decks, the shark decks, some of the uh, weird decks that have been out there. The only one it kind of struggles a little bit against is a really good tiny deck. But for a new player, this week's league, and most leagues actually, this works really well. And we have obviously got the added advantage of that arena boost. So that's really going to help us with this deck. So let's have a look, see if we can go. We are Dragon, rank one, one shield. See if we can get that up to two shields. Played this deck a few times and it is great. I haven't lost with it yet. Um, I have had a lot of people just disconnecting halfway through the game, which is a bit weird, uh, but never mind. Can we find an opponent? As I said, for new players, this is a great deck. I would really recommend trying to build this if you're struggling this week and just swap out that Nazca Lions and Renaissance for pretty much any other arts and culture or even another original Odyssey card would work quite well. Okay, we are playing Andril. Is that Andrea? Andrial. Andrial? Andrial. 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 Good luck. Hello. Are you there? What are we playing? Okay, let's get, uh, that's our perfect card to start off with. That's gonna buff up everything. Let's get Cyclops out. That Emmaus card is absolutely fantastic, by the way. 285. Oh, we're playing Burrs. This is gonna be good, guys. Whoops. We're gonna give you a demonstration on how this easy to build, original Odyssey bit deck can beat the bird decks, hopefully. Hello, are you there, Andrio, Andriel? I know you're there. Okay, let's concentrate on this game anyhow. So what I'm trying to do now is uh, buff up these cards as best we can and try and pair up. There's a couple of cards like the Penelope one that we want to try and get in a good order. Where is that arena boost? Fourth round. Okay, so let's try and win a couple. 184, a 40 lead. Okay, this is going to be a nice score from Andrile. Andrile, Andrile. Interesting. I'm sure everybody's been playing against bird decks or probably even playing bird decks, but do try and do something a little bit different. Otherwise, the game gets a little bit boring, not only for you, but for everybody else. Let's try it nice to be a little bit more creative if we can. So what have we got? We are 80 behind. We've got a good score here if we want to go for it. There's that Penelope. Any more sh Argos? I need to read these again. Uh, and what do we go with? Serious, two six six. No, not the best. Okay, so we're one nil down, but I'm not too worried because this will get stronger. Uh, mind you, the bird deck does get stronger as well, so this is going to be a good competition for us. But as I said, the few games I've played already with this deck, I have beaten all the bird decks that I face. So I'm feeling a little bit confident. But I don't want to get too carried away. It's always good to have our home arena, so to speak, that original Odyssey arena towards the end of the game as well. So that's in our advantage. Okay, let's get out. Um, maybe some of these buff cards. Yeah, let's just get those back round. Oh, Dracula Parrot and Flamingo. It's a nice deck he's got here. Nice deck. 197 against his 283. So we're a little bit behind, but we're going to start getting some power on these cards now. You can see they're buffing up nicely already. Penelope and Argos in our hand. So Penelope, I'm trying to get together with Procky, if you remember. That's the one that gives Penelope that permanent ban. Ban. <laughs> permanent buff. And there is Procky. That's good. So I'm going to put him in front of Penelope. So he comes out first. 251 and bag of win. 1386. Oh, okay, we're back in the game, ladies and gentlemen. We 
we are back in the game. So, we are about 40 in the front, I think, 50 in front. 74, even more than I thought. I wasn't paying attention. So let's try and steal this game. We've got some power here. We can do it. Cyclops doing a nice little job for us there. That brilliant, that Emilius card. Buffs up all of our original Odyssey cards. This is going to be a good score. 4-3-4 four, four, plus the 74. Oh, he's got Griffin. Oh, this is going to be really close. Really close. That is going to go up to over 500. No, 4 8, eight. And the 74 with our 4 three, five. We squeeze through. That is 1-1. One, one. 21 points. Wow, that was close. I'm glad we went for that. Very close. Okay, that takes the pressure off a little bit because we know we're going to win the next round. Uh, but can we get through this round? Uh, let's get a little bit of a buff. Lipso, not yet. Mummy. And a death. Mm, sirens, yeah, let's get that one out of the way. 6 for 1 at 306. Let's move them around actually. I want that one to come around quicker. 306, 3. So he's got 400, 417. That's not a bad score. Not a bad score. He's 111 in the lead. But our cards are going to be okay now. Let's have a look, see what we've got. There's that trial of the axis doing a little bit of damage. Yeah, look at that power on some of these cars. And that's before we get to our arena boost. Um, what should we do? 206 on the trial of axis. Clipso 401. And let's go as big as we can. 556. Five, Come on. We want to win this one. Oh, that looks good to me. That looks very good to me. So we are now comfortably in the lead. And we've got one turn left to go. We've got about 220 points. 239 points in the lead. Let's lock up one of his cards with Calypso as well. And I'm feeling really confident now. Look how we are easily making light work of this bird deck. Uh, but next arena is our home one. So we should have no problem there whatsoever. So let's just concentrate on getting the win here. 239. We play those two buff cards. 268. No, let's go higher. Let's go higher. 365. Just to make sure. Oh, that was a good call. Oh, this is going to be close again. But I think we've got enough. We've got nearly 600. Oh, he got 596. Wait a second. That's even closer this round. Oh, I'm sorry, Adrile, whatever your name is. That was close. Eight points we won that one by. But a win is a win. Like I said, we do have the power. And be brave. Don't try and hold these cards to get the big thousand pound final turn. That's where you'll probably lose. Try it and win. Okay, now we should be cruising through. Let's just get these big cars out. Procky and Penelope, 519 and 687. And the high fidelity combo. A nice little combo. That's Procky and Penelope for you. There we go. Beautiful lead now. These birds have got no chance. Absolutely no chance. Now, sorry, Andrael. Andrael. See what he get. He still can get a big score, but I think we've got some more of our original cards coming through. There we go. We've got three of them there. Oh, and my favourite one as well. Let's get him out. Gives us a, all of us another 30, 7, 8, 9. What a score. That is great. Plus the 4, 7, 9. He really needs a massive score now. Well played though. He's got a good score. Well played with his birds. 506, but nowhere near good enough. We are now nearly 500 points. Sorry, 700 points ahead. Where did I go to school? Certainly not the Q school. And um, we've still got a couple more of those original Odyssey cars to play. Cyclops, the Sirens. And what should we put in the middle? The Mummy, 584. Is that the strongest one? Renaissance, 569. Let's go with that one. Doesn't really matter. Ah, nice finish. But unfortunately, nowhere near strong enough for uh, easily winning that one free one. Anyhow, guys, that is the original Odyssey deck. I hope you agree. It's absolutely fantastic deck. Do put this one together because it is dead easy. And don't worry about the Nazca lines. Yeah, if you got it, put it in. But there's plenty of other cards around that you can use to buff up your arts and cultures. Maybe Jolo Boca Flood uh, would work. Uh, or a few other cards. Apple Tree Man, maybe. 
anyhow enjoy the video hope you liked it if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to the channel it really does help us out do leave us a like and a comment again that really helps us out so we can keep making some really cool videos for you anyhow enjoy the game take care everybody and we will be back shortly with some more videos bye